the other person, comrade, that we have on the, uh, the panel, uh, brothers and sisters, is uh, the Haiti expert in the African People's Socialist Party, uh, comrade Alikia Ngoma. She will be speaking on Haiti, neocolonialism, and the creation of gangs. Uh, that's uh, comrade Alikia Ngoma. Uhuru, Uhuru, thank you, Brother Alex, for that, comrade Alex, for that introduction. Uh, my name is Alika Ngoma, and I am a member of the African People's Socialist Party. I'm the administrative assistant for Chairman Omali Ishatela, and uh, it is the chairman who assigned me to be the Haiti expert of the African People's Socialist Party and the Haiti editor of the Burning Spear newspaper. Um, I want to thank the African People's Socialist Party's Caribbean region for having uh, the discussion on Haiti um, in this webinar, man, uh, mandates won't save us from colonial virus. And briefly, before I talk about the question of the gangs, um, I think it is important to talk about um, the how Haiti has been affected by the, the coronavirus, um, which is to say that a lot of people are or have been aware that Haiti has had relatively low um, cases of COVID-19 as compared to many other countries in the world, and especially as compared to what a lot of people had expected. Um, to date, Haiti has had 23,406 total cases, um, 658 deaths, uh, 20,149 recoveries, and so with active cases, 2,599 active cases. And that has been uh, enough information for a lot of people to just simply say COVID does not exist in Haiti. Um, but there's a lot of reasons as to why that is the case. Uh, one of the first reasons is that Haiti is, um, as many other countries in the Caribbean, a large part of the economy um, is based on tourism and people coming in and out of the, out of the country. And Haiti's tourism had been affected, um, you know, because of the state of the country over the past several years. And uh, during the beginning of COVID-19, the country was shut down. So there was nobody coming in or out of Haiti. So that's what made for a long time, there were no COVID cases um, up until the, the country opened up. And uh, people do also credit, um, you know, the, the knowledge of a lot of like traditional um, remedies and medicine and for people to like to build their immune system or to fight COVID as one of the things. But um, besides that, what the people of Haiti had been, you know, faced with up until this time is just uh, what we in the party say, colonial virus, the, the virus of colonialism itself. Because um, while Haiti was not affected as uh, many people expected, if it had been, it would have been complete devastation. You're talking about a country with only about four hospitals maximum and a country of 12 million Africans. So we can talk about um, the level of a scare that was in front of us. Um, and at the beginning, I would also say this, at the beginning of, um, in February, 2020, when COVID virus, COVID, colonial virus, uh, COVID-19 was first talked about, a lot of people in Haiti were not taking it seriously. They thought it was a government, um, you know, lie to shut down what had been happening the year before, which was where between 2018, August of 2018, up until February 2020, the Africans were in the street every single day resisting against um, the Haiti's the Haiti government's uh, waste of a lot of money, a lot of funds. Uh, that was supposed to go to building infrastructure in the country. So when coronavirus was announced, a lot of people just thought it was a lie to stop that. And um, as it was realized that, you know, that wasn't a lie, what was put in place to still stop that resistance is what we're seeing today with the gangs. Um, when you're looking at news today and how, you know, they're talking about a, a number of people from the United States that have been captured by gangs in in Haiti, um, you know, this is the the kind of reality that Africans in Haiti had been faced with, you know, for for the past few years. To especially concentrated in Port-au-Prince, where a lot of that resistance was being held, and these gangs are government-funded, state-sponsored gangs, 
uh, when Jovenel Moise was alive, it was made, it was very known and it was very clear that he had ties to um, the, that he was funding directly the leaders of these gangs, including uh, Jimmy, who goes by barbecue, um, who is um, proposing himself to be some kind of revolutionary when in fact he's, uh, you know, he's a, he's a, a product of counter, counter insurgency. He's a counter revolutionary force. He's a neo colonialist force. You know, uh, there are a number of senators and governors and mayors who fund these, these gangs, uh, which are, you know, um, like militia that they, they take, you know, people off of the streets and they bring them in, you know, and people who, when you're looking at them, you're, you're seeing that they probably don't have $2 of their own, but they're, they have the latest, um, you know, machinery. They have the latest guns, the latest tanks, and the police are also in collaboration with them. So, you know, this is um, the state of the people in, in Haiti right now, just dealing with neocolonialism. And in fact, I want to, because I don't have much time here, I want to reference an article on the burningspear.com uh, where I, you know, I did talk about a uh, certain internal conflict that is taking place between the different gangs um, and how that's forcing people, you know, gunfire between them is forcing people into homelessness. And, you know, the, the infighting between the gangs is representative of the infighting between the different neocolonial leaders that they are each funded by. Um, and the way the party says the crisis of imperialism is happening, well, you know, even the, not only do, do the colonizers have crisis among them because they wanna be the dominating force that oppresses African people, but neocolonial forces, um, experience that crisis too in a place like Haiti because they want to be the dominating force that is um, exploiting and oppressing our people. So um, I don't have much time, but I, I do want to say that, you know, um, Africans in Haiti and Africans out of Haiti who, you know, are seeing what's going on right now have to understand that these gangs are not revolutionary forces. Uh, barbecue is not a revolutionary force. These are counterinsurgent force and the victory against, um, you know, neocolonialism in Haiti is going to be won through the organization of the people and the unity of the African people there and joining the African revolution um, being led, you know, by the African People's Socialist Party. So, Uhuru, thank you.